So, finally here with some Pokemon Sword and Shield going for technically BTC20 at the moment. It's going to be kind of Battle Spot doubles. Um, but, yeah, finally back on YouTube with Sword and Shield. Very excited to jump into some BTC20. I'm going to be starting off uh, this, this YouTube with Sword and Shield with a best of three against James Beck. I'm sure you know who James Beck is. Uh, came third in the world last year, or this year just gone in Ultra Series. Also the most recent Latin American international champion. Uh, so go and check out his channel, it'll be in the description, but I'm sure you're subscribed to him already if you're subscribed to me. But I'm going to be doing a best of three against him with this Durant team. So this is this is a team that I would have probably brought to Bochum Regionals if I was attending. Um, well, I am attending, but um, I'm actually commentating the regionals as well. So here's a kind of mini announcement if you missed that on Twitter as well. But... Yeah, I'm going to be commentating the first Sword and Shield regional instead of playing in it. So you're going to be safe from this Durant, unless you want to take it yourself. But I also don't really know what are the, the good musics yet or not. Um, so I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go for random, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to be doing a best of three against him. I have no idea what he's going to be bringing. So let's have a look. Had to press X, of course. Okay. So it looks somewhat standard. Like, I feel like you can call that standard already at the moment. Now, I don't like Togekiss next to Dragapult. Because I'm always so scared already of the fire move on Dragapult. I don't like it. <laughs> as, as a Durant player now, I don't like fire moves on Dragapult. So... I do quite like Komuo if it can get its Clangorous Soul up. Avoiding the token kiss, but that's what the Durant's for, really. I do want to lead with Durant. Might go with Grim Snarl as well. It's got Rotom Mo though, and Power Whip on Gyarados. So I don't, don't think I want to go with Gastrodon. I'll try Kamuro and. Chandelure's not very good at all. But then what do I have to hit is Rotom. I guess I have Durant and Combo. And no, I'm fine against Rotom, actually. I'll go with my own Rotom. Can I choose more in this custom one? Oh yeah, it says 4 out of 6, so we need to make sure we only choose 4. And I don't know if Gigantamaxing is allowed in this. Um, there's nothing that can Gigantamax, but I'm not sure how the... Like, this is my first ever Link battle as well, so I don't know if you can do the Gigantamaxing yet, because I'm pretty sure there's no, like, official VGC format yet. It's Togekiss Dragapult, damn it. Okay. So please don't have a fire move on your Dragapult. If you do, I'm going to be very, very sad. Because I always live in fear of the fire move Dragapult now. But if there's no fire move, this is a very standard play. But at least I'll find out very quickly if he's fine with or not. Because I can't fake him out. Can't go for Sucker Punch safely because of the follow me. So has to be Risk Fire Move, Kill Toe Kiss. And then Spirit Break should do a lot of Dragon Pulse. Because this could be Follow Me and Dragon Dance. It could just be Fire Off Dynamax immediately. Could be the weakness policy Togekiss that's been going around, which I do really, really like. Yeah, just Dark and Line, that's fair. Is it going to be Fire Move? Fire Move is the issue. That's no Dynamax from him, though. The Dragapult would have Dymax first, so is he just going to... I think, no, I should take regular... If it's Flamethrower, I'll take it. If it's Fire Blast, I don't think so. But that's what I'm scared of. Just, just protects. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. So I increased my defenses now, which is good. Is that in range of Rockfall? That's going to be close. But now I can Thunder Wave the Dragapult, actually. I don't think I want to this turn. I think I definitely want to keep Durant around. 
So what I'll do is I will Sucker Punch and Rockfall the Arcanine because I need the Durant to take care of the Togekiss because Como in the back. I still have Rotom, I guess, but still. Durant's important. I feel like you'd have fire moved that turn if you had it on Dragapult, but switching out to Gyarados, okay, another Intimidate, that's that's fair. So I'll probably lose Dragapult now. Not Dragapult, um, Durant, because I shouldn't KO unless Durant wants to be the beast that it is. Oh, oh, can I? oh okay, I, I am perfectly okay getting a Rockfall onto that Togekiss. That is absolutely fine. It's a shame I didn't T-Wave the Gyarados, because that was the alternative. So annoyingly, that's not in range of another Intimidated Rockfall. So like, I could... Could Rockfall to get the two-shot on the Togekiss. Maybe with the chip. But if he switches into Arcanine again, it would live. But then is that too much of a concern? Because I have got, like, increased defense. Actually, I'll be able to take the Flare Blitzes from the Arcanine anyway. At least in max form. Not, in, not at the end of this turn. Yeah, I'm going to rock full the Toki Kiss and I will switch out into Rotom to get rid of the Intimidates on the Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl's not really doing too much here at all. But if I take care of the Toki Kiss, that could be pretty good. Dragon Dance and Gyarados could be a concern, but I can Thunder Wave it in the future. Oh, that's smart. Tokus have gone, so Komo has freed up bits, but it's still not completely freed. Because the Dragapult is still out speeds, and that could be Bounce Gyarados and Airstreaming. Swords fall into the Rotom? Yeah, so good switch in. I'm in range of Max something or other from the Dragapult, so I think I'm going to switch Rotom back into Grimstar. Oh, it's an Arcanine, okay. Interesting. So I used to have a timid Rotom on this team. I don't need any more, and that would have been nice. I think I want him to get a double knockout here, actually. Then I'd be able to fake out and clangor a soul. But then he can just die at max. Might have minus three with Durand. Yeah. Probably should switch out Durand to be fair. Yeah, I'll switch out. And so I guess I'll try and Thunderbolt the Gyarados. Should I get Thunderbolt the Gyarados, or would it be better to Will-O-Wisp if Rotom lives? Yeah, it would be better to Will-O-Wisp if Rotom makes it through the turn, because then that doesn't give him a free switch to Dragapult, and that would let him play Rush Soul. So I'm expecting Flare Blitz into Rotom here. This is Max Airstream, I've just made a huge mistake. This could be Flare Blitz and Max Airstream, and that's going to be very bad. I need to be Geyser, not Airstream. It is indeed Airstream. Not ideal, but I have to play around with some awkward hustling right now. Because I'll need to Thunder Wave. No, he's, e he's even it increased his speed on the Arcanine. So I'll have to Thunder Wave the Arcanine first. Hmm. He didn't bring his um, Rotom Mo though, so I could have gone Gastrodon. But I feel like that's an adjustment that should be obvious to make, and he'll bring his Rotom next time. Oh, 
I will rock slide with hustle. I could fake out Arcanine, but I'm gonna Thunder Wave instead and just hope I kill it. So I need to double connect anyway. Because both my Pokemon should make it through whatever Gyarados wants to go for. So if I double hit Rock Slide, I can still win. Okay, that's fair. So preserving the Intimidates. But Dragapult is Thunder Wave now, so I get to Thunder Wave the Gyarados next turn as well. Although he's going to Airstream again, so... That means that Dragapult will still outspeed. Yeah, Durant's the Beast. Maybe I do need to Thunder Wave the Gyarados instead of Sucker Punch, because Paralysis. I hit both. That did loads to Gyarados. That's why it did loads to Gyarados. Hmm. Do I go for Paralysis stuff? Because Dragapult will outspeed. Dragapult gets fully paralyzed. And then I hit both rock slides again. No, even still. An Arcanine and Gyarados will still be Grim's not one on one. Unless I crit the sucker punches. So I think it does need to be Thunder Wave, unfortunately. So I need a fully paralyzed Dragapult to start off with. Oh, it's slow. Oh, it's only plus one. Okay, that's why. Okay, I can flinch the Dragapult then, and... Fully paralyzed? No, okay. So I can ignore Dragapult, because Grimstar beats Dragapult. So... Interesting endgame. Let's see if Grimmsnarl can be a beast. I mean, I hit four Hustle Rock Slides, so I can't really complain how this endgame goes. And, like, I got the flinch as well, but... Because Gyarados is in range of Sucker Punch. Hmm. The problem is, he could just cycle Intimidates forever. Because has he seen all four moves? Like, he hasn't seen Fake Out. But if he just switches Gyarados around... He can switch Gyarados out into Arcanine to get another Intimidate. And that means he should sacrifice his Dragapult here. Have I paralyzed the Arcanine yet? Can't remember if I've paralyzed Arcanine yet. I'm going to Spirit Break the Gyarados because I think it should switch it into Arcanine. Or do I Spirit Break the Dragapult? Or Sucker Punch the Dragapult more like. I'm going to Spirit Break the Gyarados. I think it switches into Arcanine. It doesn't, okay. So I could have Sucker Punched the Gyarados. Yeah, it got some, it got some necessary chip off here. Oh, it's a very necessary chip, and I get flinched. Okay, so that doesn't really matter now. But I want to find out how much the Sucker Punch does to Arcanine, and if it's 50% berry. Not 50%, it's no longer 50% berry. It's 33% it's berry. I need to stop calling it 50% berry. Oh, Paralyzed, nice. To be fair, I have a yellow colour right here. Oh, is it worth Thunder Waving the Arcanine? Because if I critical hit the Arcanine, I think I win. Do I, like, do I go for a critical hit win? If he has extreme speed, I can't win. I can win if I Thunder Wave. I think it's better finding out if he's Super Berry or not. Crit. Oh, it wasn't. Okay. Interesting. So, Phantom Force and he should kill me here. Yeah, Flebert. So, she needed to be slightly stronger on Grimstar. Hmm, actually, if I had Sucker Punch the Gyarados, I think I want that. Because I expected him to switch out. To, like, Cycle Intimidates. 
So, if I had a Sucker Punch Gyarados, I could have got that. But, that was much closer than I think it should have been in the end game. That was quite amusing. But, like, surely, surely Gastrodon is my adjustment, so he switches to Rotom, right? What would I bring Gastrodon over? My Rotom didn't seem to do much, but then it just died to Flare Blitz. His Gyarados was quite key for him. Getting up the airstreams. Como didn't do anything. But it could have done. If I didn't just send it in on an airstream. But if I sacrifice Como over Gastrodon and he brings his Rotom, then I only have Durance to deal with it. So I do feel like I should bring my Gastrodon. I think I'm going to lead Durant Gastrodon. And then increase its defences immediately. But then if I lead Durant and lose it, and then he has Rotom. That's very bad. Maybe it's better to rock for the Togekiss turn 1. If I rock for the Togekiss turn 1, it would have done loads to Arcanine. Also, actually, if I get Chandelure in when there's no Dragapult next to Gastrodon, he can't really touch that. So then I'd be able to get Trick Room up. So maybe I should bring Chandelure. Then what would I drop for that? Because I probably... I, I could just drop como -O here. como -O didn't end up being that great. But then I can drop como -O for Gastrodon. But then what would I drop for Chandelure? I don't think I would want to drop... Would I want to drop Rotom? Because then I'm quite a lot weaker to Gyarados. And Gyarados still has Power Whip for Gastrodon as well, so... That's still not ideal. I think I still need Rotom. Hmm. Didn't bring Excadrill and Rotom. I'm going to leave with Durant and Rotom. Because then I can go for Rotom and Will-O-Wisp. And I can Will-O-Wisp the Dragapult immediately. Grimmsnarl did do well. I think I still need to bring the Grimmsnarl. Then do I bring Gastrodon? Because he still has Power Whip on his... Like, Gastrodon's still an Arcanine counter, but so is Como o I think I still want Komo, even though it didn't do anything last time. Because if I burn the um, the Dragapult, then Komo can still get a Clanger Soul up. I'm leading with my Tokus answers immediately as well, which isn't ideal, but I'm running out of time, so I guess I'm going with Komo. At least I found out he didn't have a fire move on his drag poles, because he's physical, so there's no way. No way he's that prepared for Durant. <laughs> yeah, that's not so bad. I think I might actually want to Dynamax my Rotom here and go for Max Lightning. 
amusingly. The double intimidate is bad. Because I can't helping hand rock slide or rock fall him. This is weird. Am I am I going to Dynax so I live? I think I am. But if he doubles the Rotom, then he probably just gets a double KO. And then I have to go for Thunder Wave again and get him paralyzed so he doesn't SP my Como as like Langorous Soul. Yeah, he is Dynamaxing. Is it going to be Alkaline or Gyarados? Probably Gyarados. Yeah, Gyarados. So, hopefully this isn't a double up on Rotom, because I think the s and Flare Blitz will probably pick up a knockout. Actually, maybe not. Maybe the Citrus Berry will save me. It should be Flare Blitz. Activate my berry and lit. And if Flare Blitz doesn't activate my berry, there's no way Airstream KOs me. Okay, what? That is way more than I expected. That must be Choice Band. That must be Choice Band. Yeah, just Airstream into Rotom, isn't it? No, it's Grimstyle. Okay, I'm fine with this. Because that's gotta be Choice Band, Arcanine. That's why there was no berry. That's gotta be Choice Band. Is this gonna kill Gyarados? Ah, it didn't even get close. I did way less than I expected. Still need to get used to Dynamax stuff. Suck Punch on Arcanine, that seems obvious. Suck Punch on Gyarados, probably won't KO. I don't think it will KO. It'll get close. It'll get really close. In fact, it will. I know that it will. Wait, no, I can't go for Helping Hand, I've maxed, damn it! Oh, Helping Hand Cycle Punch would have been an amazing hit. Okay, that's not good. Um, so that means I need to call if the Arcanine switches out or not. Um... I think it switches out, so I'm going to sucker punch it like an idiot. <laughs> no, he stayed in. This should KO. Good. So it's not over. Okay, so it's... I've got a double knockout here. So if I hit a hustle... Iron Head, which I'm not owed because I hit four rock slides. Assuming it's Togekiss Dragon Ball in the back. It's still doable. Because so I can't go into Como, he'll just um, drag at me. Although, to be fair, he's maxed, so I just would really appreciate hitting an Iron Head here. I don't think Togekiss usually carry Protect. I'm going to double it. If he can KO my Rotom, he can't KO Durant with Dragapult without that fire move. So, if it's a Bavari Berry Togekiss, that's really bad. Open hands, okay. With this, could anything KO Durant? Dragon Darts, okay, fair enough. So, Dragon Darts can't KO Kamoa, there's no way. Because it would have to hit Duran as well, so just please hit. Oh, that did nothing. Please, come on, Duran. Be a beast. It's Life Orb, okay. And it is Babiri Berry, okay. It's still gonna do loads. 
So now, now I need to hit one more. Else he gets the Dazzling Gleam. No, I can go for just Clanging Scales and um, Iron Head. Because even if I miss, Durant has another chance. So I can Iron Head the Togekiss and... Hmm, no, because then he can Helping Hand... Would Helping Hand Dragon Darts KO? There's no way. There's no way. Dragon Dance, that's fine. Clanging Scales should KO, right? Iron Head does hit. Okay, so yeah, that's the game. Okay. Interesting. And he didn't bring Rotom Mo again. So again, if I take out that Gyarados very quickly, could I go for Gastron again? Hmm. Durant has been wonderfully accurate so far, so I'm not feeling good about this game three. <laughs> hmm. Should I make any adjustments? Can I make any adjustments that are worthwhile? Because, like, against that lead, I could go with Chandelure something and switch into Gastron Trick Room. But if it's against Togekiss... If, it, if he leads Togekiss Dragapult into what I would lead would be Grim Snarl, Chandelure, that is just an auto-loss. So... Like, I think I do need Durant for Togekiss. Whatever happens, I need Durant. I think... Like, I want to still lead with Durant, even though he had the double intimidate stuff. Also know that his choice band is is good information as well. I think I'll go Grimm's the whole road song. Durant. I don't think I want Chandler. I'm gonna go with this. This is okay against both the leagues he's gone with before. Feels weird Dynamaxing Rotom, but I think this is the first time I've Dynamaxed the Rotom while using this team. Brought Excadrill this time, interesting. So that's not very good for this lead. I need to get the fake out target correct, I think. Or I could go for Thunder Wave. Ooh, actually, this is okay. I can go for Thunder Wave into Arcanine and Will O Wisp into Excadrill. I think this is okay. As long as I hit both. I can obviously miss both, but Thunder Wave is fine. That means the Rotom will outspeed the Arcanine. And can get the Willows into the extra drill. I live this and left seas boosted. Willow Wisp misses. And he gets the flare bits off. That's not great. Because if that was a burned extra drill, this Clangor of Soul was just the freest thing in the world. Now it's not that free. I can't go into Durant. Because if I rock fall, he just gets the KO and like the free switch in into his Dragapult. So I think it has to be Como. -O. But I don't think I live Iron Head and because he's banded Flare Blitz as well. That Will O Wisp miss is unfortunate. Like as if he if, if I hit that Will O Wisp, I get the Clangor of Soul for sure. I think it has to be Como. -O. I'm going to make a big play. I'm going to switch straight into Durant. 
and protect. I think he doubles the Como O. Because he can't let me set up. I think he doubles the Como O. And then this way, I'll be able to rock fall the Arcanine and Clangorous Soul. Oh, he switched out. It's Gyarados. That is a shame I did not Clangorous Soul this turn then. Clangor Assault here would have probably just been a win. Earthquake, oh, yeah. Clangor Assault would have been so good. That's no, really unfortunate. Because now he gets to max the Gyarados. And even switch into Arcanine. Can I take an airstream if I max steel spike? I don't think so. Yeah, I think I think I don't want to say that's a throw because I'm I'm fine with my logic, but Clangorous Soul would have almost certainly been a win because even maxed, I don't think Gyarados would have been able to take the rockfall. Yeah, I think it has to be climbing scales now. He's just switching into Arcanine to intimidate again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crit this Rockfall and instantly win the game. There's the Dynamax. Yeah, I'm, I'll be able to see how much this would have done, and if I do over half of what's left up this Rockfall, I'm going to be annoyed, because I could have Clangorous Soul. Absolutely nothing. What am I even thinking about? That really did nothing. Yes, I didn't. I guess I would have. I like. I would have gone for probably Steel Spike instead. Otherwise, but no. No, this is not ideal. Missing the Will O Wisp was very unfortunate because then I would I would have definitely gone for Clangor Assault there. But maybe sacrificing Rotom that early when he had still had his Gyarados was not the most ideal thing. I have to go for Thunder Waves. Wait, no. Which one do I attack? I think I no. He gets gets to extreme speed actually. Yeah, if it, he's banded, so he has extreme speed. So he knocks out the Grim Snarl, and then I lose. So I need to crit the Rockfall here. Yeah, that's the extreme. Well, I guess he could have got fully paralyzed, but there we go. Crit the Rockfall. Oh no, there's not even a chance to. I should did this though, right? Because Duran is still amazing, but then he's just got Dragapult in the back, so... Not great. Nice crit. Nice crit. <laughs> yeah, ga game one. Game one, I think, would, game one was winnable when if I would have gone for one move that I can't remember. And this one... Like, I, I liked my Widow's logic, but then missing was pretty bad. If I'd have got the Throat Spray off with the Clangorous Soul, at least I get to see that it was... Wait, no, I didn't even knock out the extra drill. That's... What say you? Oh, this is a 4-0 then. That's sad. 
Yeah, good games to, to James. Go and check out his channel. It's going to be in the description, although I'm sure you're already subscribed to him because um, he's actually doing consistent content, whereas I have no time for consistent content when I wish I did. But yeah, definitely go and check out his channel and yeah, good, good games to James. And I'm going to keep slightly rambling until this end screen's gone so I'm not cutting at a weird point. But yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching.